What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, and partner in the Ambrosia Collective and 015 Nutrition. This is a very exciting video for me. It's something that I've been really looking into. And if you guys know, I'm on HRT, and a couple years ago, I went on something called metformin. Here's my prescription right here. I take one gram of metformin a day. Now, the reason I take it is for anti-aging and longevity, and I'm gonna go into some of the data. And this weekend, I was actually at a soccer showcase for my daughter, and I'm sitting in the hotel room because if you have a 15-year-old daughter, they don't wanna be with you at all. She was hanging out with her friends, having a good old time, right? So I am looking up information to an article on my product nutrient driver. I'm gonna read the ingredients right now. It has Chromax, chromium picolinate, huge amount of data on that. Berberine HCL, which I will be focusing this video on extensively. Banaba extract, r alpha lipoic acid, and Genema extract. All of those have been shown to have anti-diabetic effects, support glucose metabolism, regulate insulin release, decrease food cravings, potent water and fat-soluble antioxidant, increase utilization of carbs for energy, immune system support, and brain health support. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Everyone should take Nutrient Driver. Everyone. It's one of the healthiest supplements I've ever created. I take it alongside Nectar, alongside Immortal. It is an amazing supplement for overall health. And this is beyond the scope of this video. I have more videos coming out. I also think that by keeping your insulin, your blood sugar controlled, it decreases your overall body inflammation. And I think one of the reasons people get really, really, really sick is due to inflammation response in the body. And my goal is to keep blood sugar and insulin regulated without having to make you go on what I feel is a performance limiting, potential unhealthy diet like a low carbohydrate keto diet. Now, before everyone jumps on me, keto diets can very well be healthy. I do think a lot of keto diets, because a lot of people don't understand the importance of eating organ meats and other I items on a ketogenic or a low carb or a carnivore diet that a lot of people get deficient in nutrients. And also a lot of people can't stick to exclusionary diets just because food is good. So what I want to do is I want to use supplements and even pharmaceuticals to help um, basically prolong your life to make it so you don't die. Now, this is a study from February 9, 2018, published online, and it is in PubMed on NCBI. It is in the Open Access in Impact Journal, and the study title is Metformin and Berberine, Two Versatile Drugs in Treatment of Common Metabolic Diseases. It's actually published online in 2017. So, Let's go with the abstract. Metformin has been used as a glucose lowering drug for several centuries. It is now a first line drug for type 2 diabetes. Since the discovery that it activates AMP activated protein kinase, AMPK, and reduces risk of cancer, metformin has drawn great attention. Another drug, berberine, extracted from berberis vulgaris root, was an ancient herbal medicine in treating diarrhea. Something for those of you like me who have irritable bowel syndrome with the D might want to look at. Ongoing experimental and clinical studies have illuminated great potential of berberine in regulation of glucose and lipid homeostasis. That would be your lipid profiles as well as your blood sugar and glucose. Cancer growth and inflammation. Talking about inflammation, what did I say before? The lipid lowering effect of berberine is comparable to those conventional lipid drugs, but with low toxicity. Essentially, the benefits of things like statins without the toxicity, they're horrible for you. Therefore, it is a right time to transform beneficial effects of berberine into therapeutic practice. Now, what I'm going to get into is that both of these supplements slash pharmaceuticals work on their own, but together you are able to lower the dose of one or both and extract greater benefits. And I'm going to explain why that's important in a second. Let me get a drink. Whoever you are, whatever you do, there's an outright bar that's perfect for you. And for these bars, 
These are really special because they're truly unique and different. And I wanted my lovely wife, Katie, to talk about this. What is this amazing bar? So this is the Sunflower Seed Butter Bar. And actually this was my idea because we have three kids that go to school and very, it's very common for kids that are in you know elementary school, middle school age to have peanut allergies. And they'll post, the teachers will post a sign outside the door that says no nuts, no tree nuts, no peanuts, no tree nuts, sometimes no dairy allowed in a classroom. So with that in mind, we came out with sunflower seed butter outright bars. This is a vegan bar because it is using a vegan protein as opposed to the whey protein that is used in the traditional outright bar. Um, it has the sunflower seed butter base. So that means there's no peanuts and there's no tree nuts. Now this product is still manufactured in a facility that has that. So if you have a very severe peanut or tree nut allergy, um, it is in the same facility, but it is, you know, uh, meant for kids with allergies and to be brought to school where there's other kids around that could have potentially have allergies. We've thought of everything. You know who else we thought about? We thought about people want a delicious breakfast tasting like their favorite mochaccino they can buy from their favorite coffee shop with delicious white chocolate chips. And we also thought about people want to maximize their gains. Now, when you take in this product called Velocitol, this ingredient, it doubles the power of your protein. Right. So by putting the most delicious, delicious mochaccino white chocolate flavor, Outright Bar, we have the Outright Breakfast Bar. Look at that. I haven't had this one in a really long time and it's actually I'm one of bust my that open. favorites. So if you have never had sunflower seed, Mm. Butter, it has a different taste, and I haven't had this in a very long time. I actually really liked it when we first came out with it. I just sure. never remembered. So it's mm. got really big, um, again, those are chocolate chips vegan that do not chips. Right, have dairy in them because this is a vegan bar, and it's also gluten-free. Let me grab that one. Mm. That's really good. The Outright Bar, we've thought of everything. All you need to do is think about going to your favorite retailer. If they don't have it, tell them to get it. If they do have it, buy at least one to 30 boxes of these things. There you go. So let's go into this. So what are the benefits? Now there's a lot to unwrap in this study. I'm gonna try and keep this under 10 to 15 minutes. So both of these supplements slash pharmaceuticals have anti-diabetic actions. They've been shown to help treat the effects of type 2 diabetes, which is a huge issue in society. Anti-obesity. These both have been studied in treating or helping to ob treat obesity. Not that they will make you lose weight, but when used in conjunction with a healthy diet, again, you regulate inflammation, you regulate your blood sugar, which will in turn regulate your appetite, you got a great thing. Cardiovascular protection against damage by hyperlipidemia. Again, how, helping to prevent unfavorable lipid profiles are huge. Anti-tumor activity. While that is here, I am not going to touch that because not only will YouTube strike my video down for medical misinformation, but the FTC will also get on me. Just know that I am reading that sentence directly from this review published on PubMed. It is scientific open source, anti-inflammatory effect, huge, not just in implications for obesity, but in implications for every other health issues. Um, so let's go into why, why these are special. They do similar things in the body, but the mechanisms of actions, the way they work within the body are significantly different. So in essence, you can use both of them in a complementary, not a competitive fashion. Metformin was first reported to implement its function through activation of AMPK. Um, moving forward, in some cases, however, this notion was challenged by two observations. First, hepatic ablation of LKB1 does not abolish the inhibitory effects of metformin on hepatic gluconeogenesis. Second, in vitro studies reveal that the concentration of metformin required for activation of MPK is greater than the acute inhibition of, glute, of gluconeogenesis in hepatocytes. These findings led to scrutiny of the mechanism of underlying inhibition of hepatic gluconeogenesis. Um, 
They have demonstrated that metformin inhibits mitochondrial glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, leading to changes in mitochondrial and cytoplasmic redox states. This takes place independently of AMPK activation. Blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Berberine has been shown to inhibit mitochondrial respiratory complex 1, which could lead to the increase of AMPK and subsequent AMPK activation. However, a recent report demonstrates that berberine blocks complex 1, leading to increase in glucose consumption and lactate release, which is independent on AMPK. This raises an interesting possibility that berberine and metformin may act through similar mechanisms despite different structure and transporters as inhibition of respiratory train engenders stress conditions addition of berberine or metformin could elicit cellular stress responses such as activation of p38 and jnk pathways which might be dependent or independent of ampk now let's get into the bottom line and drop straight to perspective. I know this is a lot nerdier than most of my boom videos where I'm just ranting about things, but if you guys want to know how to give a man a hard on, this is how I get hard ons reading stuff like this. Therefore, combination of these two drugs might allow for reduction in doses of each individual drug to solve problems such as oral bioavailability of berberine and side effects of each alone. So the problem with berberine is inherently going to be its oral bioavailability. It's not very orally bioavailability, bioavailable, but we have indications to what dose to take. And I'll go into that in a second. Metformin is absolutely fantastic. And recent research has demonstrated that it does not impact IGF-1 like people thought it would. Thus, the argument that metformin will inhibit muscle growth I don't think is founded at all. So it doesn't inhibit muscle, gro muscle growth. It has anti-obesity effects, anti-diabetic effects, meaning anti-diabetes. That doesn't mean it treats, cures, or prevents diabetes. That means it has properties that are anti-diabetic in nature. So the question is, how do you take these? Now, not everyone wants to get a prescription for metformin. I see it as a great anti-aging supplement i get it through my doctor hormone health and wellness i'll link them down below hormone health and wellness i work with dr kurt they have other great doctors but you can also take nutrient driver now sean wells and other doctors actually argue for berberine being more potent and effective and having less side effects than metformin i love berberine and for some people prescriptions aren't the answer so what i recommend let's go into dosing for metformin i am prescribed 1000 milligrams a day that's 500 milligrams divided into two doses okay now the general recommendation is 500 to 2000 milligrams that i can find for this that's up to your doctor but just know that my prescription is for 1000 milligrams that's 500 milligrams split into two berberine is one to two grams a day so here's why i did this 750 milligrams of berberine and nutrient driver gives you right where you need to be 1.5 grams or 1500 milligrams divided into two doses now here's how i dose it so i take metformin with my first meal in the morning which contains carbs i eat carbs and the last meal in the day now with or without carbs they recommend to take it with food and remember that with or without carbs you still have nutrients going in. Protein still does elicit somewhat of an insulin response and you're not injecting insulin. It's not that hardcore. So at the end of the day, I would go with one pill twice a day. I take mine morning and evening. Now for nutrient driver, I eat multiple times a day, including snacks. If you only eat four meals a day, take metformin morning and one, one, one AM and one PM meal, and then take two nutrient driver with two of your other meals. Now, if you're like me and you eat multiple meals a day, what I do is I take this from, let's say, meal one and meal five, then I'll take this meal two, three, four, and six. So I'm always taking this, but I only take one. So you take four total nutrient driver that gets you 1.5 grams of berberine. And for me, if I take too much nutrient driver and I don't eat enough carbs, I can get a big hypoglycemic. But I found that one cap, even on a low carb diet, 
um, won't do much negative to me. Now, the half-life of these, they last a while, but the main action is in the first one to two hours. That's why I recommend taking these with carb-containing foods. Some people recommend taking metformin before bed so you wake up in a lower glucose state. For me, you're sleeping, you're not eating, you're going to be pretty low blood glucose anyway when you wake up in the morning. That's for tit for tat. That doesn't really matter. So at the end of the day, I want you to at least take Nutrient Driver. Everyone should consult with their doctor first. But in my opinion, if cleared by your doctor, there is not one person in the population over the age of 18 who should not be taking Nutrient Driver. Two to four capsules a day, four would be the recommended dose. If you are aging and you want to look into it, I suggest you talk to your doctor about metformin. If you need a good doctor who isn't a general practitioner who sucks, I recommend you use my doctor who's linked down below. But there are other great doctors who can help you with your anti-aging needs. Uh, male and female. Male and this is not. Blood sugar is not a male only thing. It does affect females as well. So I appreciate you guys watching this video was very fun for me to do. If you like these more sciencey videos, I'll gladly do them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the study I was referencing down below. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you need anything, again, Nutrient Driver, I'm going to link this down below. It's available at tigerfitness.com alongside something you can eat when you take Nutrient Driver, and that's the Outright Bar, which is also at tigerfitness.com and the number one bar at the Vitamin Shop. We are in every single Vitamin Shop, 800 plus nationwide. We are in Smoothie King. We are in H-E we are in oh man where do we start we're in high v we're in giant eagle we're in ingles we're in all the good places man military bases you name it we're there appreciate you guys watching please support we could use the help thanks so much guys i'm mark lobliner like this video subscribe to this channel click on that notification bell and remember that's not a game Collie power pizza i gotta admit i'm one of those guys who said if you're gonna eat pizza eat real pizza but Flex Pro Meals has not done me wrong. 20 carbs, 55 protein, 30 fat for y'all keto types. I'm going to throw it in the microwave and we're going to try this bad boy out. Flex it with the microwave, y'all. I'm ready to try it. It smells good. I wish y'all could smell this, but unfortunately, you know, my boy, my boy Steve Jobs died before he could figure that function out on the iPhone. So here comes the dog. Ruckus, you, you know, I would like some of that cauliflower pizza. Can I have, can I, I'll try, I'll be a taste tester. All right, here we go. That was him talking, by the way. I'm not weird. Look, it's actually cut into little pieces. So what we're going to do is, I don't want to burn my mouth, so we're going to pause this. I'm going to come back to you in about two minutes. This actually, I have this nifty little spatula. Look how perfect. It was made for this. So here we go. So I'm going to try this, all right? So look, it actually resembles a pizza, and it actually holds like a pizza. Oh my God, they actually did it. They made a low carb pizza that did, this is amazing guys. Anyway, flexpromeals.com, coupon code LOWBLINER saves you some cash and try this pizza, this is good.